I'm expecting Bitcoin to break through $70,000 next. In this video, I'm gonna be outlining the reasons why, the important support and resistance to be aware of, and how I am now still in this long and chill position, now in $9,000 of profit on that Bitcoin long, and the longs that I was sharing through yesterday, Flocky and Pepe, they're in nice profits too. It's long school all right now and they are getting paid. Let me talk you through this up to this point and what we are looking for next. So yeah, picking up where I left off my last video, which was last night, uh, we done a public live stream, right? And I was talking you through why I was expecting higher prices to come. I was not shorting the daily naked point of control at 68,300, why? Because I was, once again, expecting higher prices to come on Bitcoin at this point. And so for me, it was fairly simple. We had this value area high, which was very key for myself, right? That was the value area high, top of the triangle. And this is what I just absolutely love when it comes to trading, when there is no reaction at all, and it just gives you a very easy ride to the upside. As you can see here, this was the value area high that we were looking at, and look what that done. It flipped straight through, back tested as support for a continuation to the upside. That is what you call a resistance support flip of the value area high, supporting the move up here. Just, what can I say? Honestly, absolutely perfectly. What we can do now is expand this across to the most latest price action too. Uh, just to give you a viewpoint of that point of control and the value area high ever so slightly moving up now. Okay, but absolutely safe to say that is a very nice support. So what we can be doing is putting this anchored view up of the current uptrend. We can see the uh, anchored view up coming in now around $68,150. So overall, when we look at the point of control, the anchored view up, this new daily naked point of control, we have what is classed as very key support right now, around $67,700. $700. That's what I'd be classing now as a very important support of this uptrend. And if we are to dip first, that's where I will be looking to buy the dip once more for my higher targets to be hit. Okay. I am absolutely expecting us to breach through $70,000. That is my full expectations. I have not shorted Bitcoin here and I will not short Bitcoin if we get the dip here. I will only look to buy the dip until we come up and we breach through that big psychological $70,000. It is sat on the overall range value area high. This is for me such a key zone uh, now sat around 70,200 ish, right? So I've got my alert set. I'm ready and waiting and it's just exactly the same as yesterday. We wait to see the reaction. Yesterday we we're waiting for the reaction at that value area high and I will show you one final time just to make this oh so clear what happened with that value area high you go straight through it that's what we call no reaction bam straight through even back test it as support for higher so we're going to be looking for the same type of trade setup next right compare that to the the week uh, monthly naked point of control that i did short up here okay that short of course ended in profits but this was what we call a reactionary trade. We hit onto the monthly naked point of control, ended in a bearish wick reaction. We had a profitable short trade off the back of that. Okay, next we were looking for the value area high, which what happened did end in no bearish reaction, right? We went straight through the level, went straight through the level, back tested it as support. That's a clear reclaim, we look for higher. This is a clear rejection. We had a short, which ended in profits. Now, what I'm looking for next is the value area high of the overall range that are around just above $70,000, where will we see a nice rejection candle or will we simply go through that level like butter, claim it as support, and then, well, we can be looking back up towards our next higher levels towards $71,000. So this is the way that I trade. This is the way that we are approaching the charts. It's simply understanding the highest probabilities based off the data that we have at the time. Again, yesterday in my live stream last night, I recognized the data, what the highest probabilities were, and they were for higher prices to come. That was while we were sat at $68,000 here today, we are at 69,500. And I am once again telling you, I am expecting higher prices to come. I am in not shorts. I'm not in shorts. I am in my long trades and I am looking for us to break through $70,000. That for me is going to be happening. And if we dip first, well, I will buy that dip for the target of taking out 70,000. Once we take out 70,000, my key target level next, I'll be seeing, do we form a bearish type reaction like we saw previously at the 
monthly naked point of control, which ended in a profitable short, or do we get something like we saw yesterday at the value area high, where we get through the level and flip it into support? That for me is absolutely key. But until then, until we hit that target, I am absolutely looking for higher. That value area high target here around 70,200, 100, massively key for me next the reaction there very important again i will give my updates first always to the champion members so if you want to know exactly how i view that reaction and trading it the update will always be first to the champions i do have a stream for the contenders and the champions today so i've got some live streams lined up for the members and yeah my updates will always be given to them first via the discord channel so uh yeah if you want to get involved on that if you want to know the update before everybody else the type of trades that i'm taking you can get that via the champions membership for everybody else i hope this free quick video has been helpful for you to understand i am going to be longing any dip that should come with the target of the overall value area high at around $70,100. That for me is the next key level to judge the reaction for then the next trade of either a rejection candle or continuation towards, to be fair, new all-time highs. It's going to be a fun, fun, fun week. Hope you're looking forward to it as much as me. Let's go champs, more profit to come. And I think we're lining up for some very, very epic trades. Just a quick update. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Goodbye.